Hi there, I'm Ben from Imbarium, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Imbarium integration with LearnDash to connect LearnDash to Infusionsoft. Meaning, anytime a student completes a lesson, a course, a quiz, or an assignment, you can trigger an automation in Infusionsoft. So, when one of those actions complete, you can actually apply a tag to the user, you can trigger a campaign goal, or you can run an action set. Now there are a few reasons why this is useful in the automations that you can run inside of Infusionsoft. For example, you can send out an email or an automation through Infusionsoft congratulating the student or letting them know about the next steps they need to do. You can also tag and track your students as they progress through your program or your course, and this allows you to know what percentage of students end up finishing your full program, and it just gives you better insight into how it's performing. You can also use this feature to send out an automated email reminder so that you can remind students to come back and resume resume their training or the course wherever they last left off. You can also set up advanced automations with Infusionsoft, and this all depends on how advanced you want to get, but when someone submits something through LearnDash that needs to be manually graded, like a written assignment, you can trigger off a task inside of Infusionsoft for someone to come in and grade it. With all that being said though, here's how to use LearnDash with Membarium. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is just head over into LearnDash. I'm here in the back end of WordPress, and as you can see, I have my LearnDash, and I'm over here on the Courses tab. And so when you're creating a new course, you simply come up here to the top, and you hit Add New. At this point, you would just add in your course title. We'll create the silver course for now. And here's where you would put your course content. Now, when we say the content, this could be a description of the course or an intro video, something very similar to that. And as you can see, right now we're using the Gutenberg editor, but you can also edit these with uh, page builders and those various things. LearnDash has support for that. So I went ahead and added a, just a basic content, simple description, and then a video placeholder where we would put in your own video. At this point, what you need to do is head over here to the top where it says Builder. And on this one, here's where you would set up your section headings, for example, your lessons. You can add quizzes if you want. And if you look over here to the side, this will show you here all the lessons that you already have created. I don't have any created, so what I'm going to do is come over here and press New Lesson. And then I would type in, for example, like Silver Lesson 1. Once I type that in, I can go ahead and add the lesson. And you can keep doing that for as many lessons as you need. Then you can also add quizzes. So if you want a quiz, you can simply hit new quiz. I'll go ahead and name my final quiz the final exam. Now there's a lot to learn, Dash, and I can't possibly cover it all in this video, but you can also add things under lessons as well. So you can have quizzes that are under lessons and topics. I won't explain all that in this video. So once you've actually set up uh, the lesson structure and any quiz that you have, all of those things, go ahead and just save it as a draft, or you could publish it if you really wanted to. Then you need to come over here to the side and, for example, go to the Lessons tab. And once you open up the Lessons tab, right here, you'll see that I do have my Silver Lesson 1. I also have a few others, which we'll show you those in a minute. But when you actually click Open into the lesson, and this will allow you to add your content. So if you have a video, or whatever the case might be, you need to come in here and add all of that. So if I have a video, for example, I can just hit the Vimeo button right here and embed my, my video. I could add any written content that I wanted, and um, that's all you have to do. So once you've added all your content, you just simply go through and update all those pages. And the same thing goes for quizzes. You just go through and build the quiz, add your questions to it. And once that's done, you can simply head back over here into the course and then go to the Settings tab. There's one more setting that you do need to change. If you scroll down into the Settings tab, you'll see the Access Mode. And here, you actually want to set this to Close. And the reason why is because Membarium will control who has access to this course. You don't need LearnDash controlling access. Membarium is already going to control the access for you, and we'll show you how that's set up now. So if you come up back over to the course page over here and you make sure you're on the document tab right here, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll first see the content protection tab right here. And as you can see, I have my membership levels, gold and student, and this is the regular content protection box that Membarium normally provides. And so in this case, let's say that I wanted uh, any of the people with a student membership to be able to access this course, I would simply click the student membership. And now they have to have the student membership to access the course. But there's one more other thing that we need to do here. So if you remember, we set the course type to closed, and so we now need to make sure that they're enrolled in this. So without getting into all the details, I'll leave links below on how the auto-enrollment works and why you have to do this. But simply just put in the same tag that you've used for the membership in here. Now, you can get advanced with this, and there's other reasons why this isn't done automatically. However, 
the best setup is that if you have a membership checked or if you're requiring tags, just simply put the same thing in the auto enrollment box so that the people have access to it. So they're enrolled in the course and they have access to Memberium. And once that's done, you can simply press update, and now your course is actually ready to go. So that when somebody makes a purchase through Infusionsoft, for example, they would get the tag, in this case the student tag, they would have the membership, and they'd be enrolled in the course, and they'd be ready to go. So that's the first part of the Memberium integration. The next part is what I mentioned at the start of this video, and that's where you can run actions when users complete certain steps in the course. Now, to better explain this, I want to head over into one of my other courses here. I have the gold course right here. And what I want to show you is that if we come to the course and we open it up here, and we scroll down to that learn dash memberium integration box, you'll see that I have set up here in action so that when the gold course is fully completed, and that's when they press the mark complete button, I'll show you how to do that, they're going to receive this tag. The user that completes the course will receive the gold course complete tag. If you want to get more advanced, you can also achieve goals, run action sets, and you can set up a custom redirect to happen. But the easiest way to use it is simply apply tags. That way you can track everything through Infusionsoft. Okay, and now if we come over to the builder here, I have set up a lesson, and it's actually even a quiz under this lesson. I'm going to show you that now. So if we actually edit this lesson one right here, uh, the gold course lesson one, and we've come over here to the side. I've also set up another tag to be applied. So whenever the gold lesson one is complete, they will receive course one lesson one. That's the tag that they're going to get. And under this course and under this lesson, I mean, I've set up a quiz. And so if we head over to the quiz right here, let me show you what that looks like. And this is a very basic quiz. It just has one question. And you set all that up through the builder tab right here. But if we come back over here and we scroll down to the integration box one more time, you'll see that we actually have a slightly different looking integration box. And that's because the top is for actions that run when the user passes the quiz, and the bottom is when the student actually fails the quiz or the test. And so you can see I've set up a tag to be applied, quiz passed, when the quiz is passed, and then if they fail, you're going to get the tag quiz failed. With that being said, let me show you what this looks like on the front end. So if we actually just refresh this page right here, I'm logged in as a user, you'll see that I have my gold course right here. And this is all using Memberium's page templates, by the way. You can get these if you contact support. Now, you can see that it actually has this lock. I don't even have access to the course because I don't have the membership level gold to be able to even access it. So what I need to do is actually give the user access to that. And the best way to do that is to just come over into Infusionsoft, go to Tags, come down to your memberships, and I'll just apply the gold membership right here. And now after applying that membership, you can see that it actually doesn't have the lock anymore and it's open for me to join. So I can simply open it up here and now we're looking at Learn Dash. So if we come down here, we can see the lesson one right here and lesson two. So we'll just go ahead and start lesson one. And we already set this up. The lesson content, our video placeholders would be right here. And really all we have to do to complete this lesson is simply take the quiz. And so by coming down here and completing the quiz, which color is darker? Well, for right now, we'll just say blue. That's the correct answer. It's going to tell me that I've uh, completed that. And if I, when I press this button right here, if you look over to the side and you can see my progress bar up here, it's going to go to 50%. So I'll go ahead and click here to continue. And as you can see, we're now at 50%. And I've completed lesson one and the quiz. This means that if we head back over into Infusionsoft, we refresh and we go to the tags, right here, you can see that I have the quiz passed because I did pass the quiz and I've also completed course one, lesson one. Now you can make these tags much more descriptive. Mine are very basic just for the purpose of this demo, but it's completely up to you. Okay, now as you can see, I'm on lesson two and so there's no quiz for this lesson. And so I have this nice green mark complete button down here. And as soon as I press that, that's gonna complete lesson two and it's also gonna complete the entire course because this is the very last lesson. That means that I should get that gold course complete tag. So let's go ahead and press it. And as you can see, it's gonna redirect me over here just to my main course page. It's gonna tell me I've completed the whole course. And if we come back over into Infusionsoft, we reload and go to the tags we'll see that I have the gold course complete tag. Now that right there is the whole integration with Memberium and Learn Dash. So we essentially allow you to run automations over in Infusionsoft. Now I didn't show you any automations in Infusionsoft, I just simply showed you the tags being applied, but you could also run action sets, you could trigger campaign API goals, or you could even trigger a campaign through one of the tags that got applied. Even if you don't set up 
automations through the campaign builder, having all those tags inside of Infusionsoft like this will allow you to run reports and searches to see how many people are actually making it through your course. And if you need to make changes to your course or your content, it'll give you insight that will allow you to do that. Now, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what LearnDash can do because that's just not the purpose of this video. I wanted to focus on the integration itself and what Membarium does to provide that integration with LearnDash and Infusionsoft. So with LearnDash, you can do more advanced things such as more advanced quizzing. You can even create topics and assignments, certificates. There's a lot of features that I haven't even covered here. If you want to learn more about all that, head over to LearnDash's website, LearnDash.com, where you can see the most up-to-date pricing and you can also review their documentation for more features that I didn't cover here. If you're having problems with this integration, contact our support team by going to Membarium.com forward slash support. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.